And oh, from a stadium with a reputation for producing one of the liveliest atmospheres in the English game, we're in South London at Selhurst Park. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Crystal Palace, and they take on Arsenal. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Very quick thinking there. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, later on the game, he might have seen yellow, but not at this early point. Yeah, but I'm with the referee. It's a foul, but no card. Has eyes for goal! And that is a free kick artist at work. What a goal it was! Well, here it is again. And honestly, I can't believe he's taken this on. It's an incredible strike to beat the goalkeeper from that sort of range. Could he have done better? I'm not sure. But let's just admire the goal. Stunning free kick. The match has restarted, 1-0 here. Bukayo Saka. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Must score! And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and it's a great finish. He holds off the defender, keeps his composure, and finds the back of the net. It's a marvellous goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. This is a message for Alex O'Neill. Alex O'Neill, can you please return to your vehicle? Hudson Edouard. Schlup. And Edouard with it. Sheikh Ducouré. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Gabriel Jesus. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Mitchell. Ezzy. Oh, nice ball. You can sense the threat is there. Spot on with that tackle. Well, no stopping him. Oh, managing to beat him. A poor cross, all things considered. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. This to put them in front. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. Can someone get on the end of this? And it's Gabriel Jesus. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards.
Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. And the action underway again. The onus very much on Palace to find a response now. Well, getting close to the half-time interval and the story so far, they're not really making home advantage count. Stuart, your take? Well, they're certainly not out of this. They've created some good chances and look threatening, but they need to be better defensively in the second half. They just can't afford to concede again. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. The referee's whistle, and that means the first half is over here in South London. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two. And the second half is underway with Palace behind. Can they turn this game around? It's going to be interesting to see. They might be able to get in now. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Kai Havertz, a delicious piece of skill, and it's Gabriel Jesus, still trying to make something happen, Gabriel Jesus, can he do it, and a goal, they're going to take some stopping now, two in front here. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So on with the action. 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Sheikh Dukure. Now the attack looks promising. And that will be a corner. Time for a change then. Well, could this be the turning point? The fans are certainly hoping so. And played short. And blocked for now. Oh, and the flag goes up. Well, he needs to be more aware there. He didn't work hard enough to stay on side. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. To be replaced by number 35, Alexander Zinchenko. Well, as you can see, Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you.
being pressed and pressed high. It's a good Palace move in the making. But nothing comes of it. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Using his physical strength to shield it. Well, a joy to watch. But a good piece of tidying up. And teammates around him. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Not finished yet. Not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. Well, here it is again, and I have to say, the defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the keeper's exposed. Well, back underway, and a glut of goals here. 3-2. Alexander Zinchenko and just five minutes remaining Havertz Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control this could be it able to clear the danger at least for now Partey now with Jesus and he read it superbly. Havertz. Can he put it away? In it goes! To increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Havertz. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. And the referee blows for full time. It has gone awry for Crystal Palace and their supporters. No points picked up. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.